All right, a lot to do today. So first step, got to get the microfibers in the wash. Second step, Chick-fil-A. I did it. Step three, actually vlog. So this video is not about um, Chick-fil-A, obviously. I don't know why it would be. It is about something new on the truck. So as you know by the title, you already know what it is. The new wheels on the truck have an interesting story that I wanted to tell you guys real quick. It started out with these wheels and ended with these. So the original plan was not at all to go with these wheels and not at all to get new wheels in the first place, but the plan was always to not have chrome wheels anymore. And you're probably wondering, well, how do those two things correlate and work together? Well, my plan was to sandblast those wheels that you just saw and have them powder coated gloss black, which would have been all right. You know, it would have been cool, I guess. Not as cool as this. What I figured out through calling multiple shops and talking to a lot of people is that you cannot sandblast that type of wheel because it's made of a very soft aluminum under the chrome that the sandblaster is powerful enough to actually erode very fast. Due to that point, I couldn't sandblast the wheels. I couldn't powder coat them. So I decided, okay, what are, I'm gonna look into some other options on how to do this because I was gonna figure it out. And after talking to literally 25 shops in Florida and Georgia, and actually a part of an Alabama, of Alabama, believe it or not. I pretty much got the verdict that no shop would do my second option, which was chrome stripping. So chrome stripping works as you dip the wheel or anything chrome that you want to be stripped into a chemical. This chemical then eats away the very thin layer of chrome and you can pull it off. And so I, I was looking into getting these wheels done like that and no shop would do it. Some of them wouldn't give me a reason. Some said, oh, well, you're too far away. We can't ship these legally. We don't have the license to do that. And I was like, okay, understood. And some of them just claimed they could do it, but claimed that they wouldn't. So I don't, I don't really know what that's about. But so I, that was not really an option pretty much because I wasn't going to ship these out anywhere or anything because then you're just getting into the cost of the cost of stripping them, the cost of shipping them, and the cost of my time to do that and cost of, uh, something to put on the truck while that's being done and putting the truck up everywhere So I was like, okay, they can't be blasted They can't be stripped and they can't be pulled off with heat because it's such a thin layer And it has so many deep crevices and different things like that It just doesn't make sense to try and pull it off with heat and like a screwdriver or whatever also It just it doesn't make sense. So I decided okay I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on a new set of wheels and I'm gonna do better this time so these wheels you see here are 20 by 10 with a negative 22 offset, 8 by 170 millimeter lug pattern. And these wheels you see here are a 20 by 12, so they're wider, 8 by 170 lug pattern with a negative 44 offset. So what the offset is, for those who don't know, is this lip right here, from here to here. So the last one is literally half of this because it's, it sticks out negative 22. This one is negative 44. So also, and then the width of the wheel is 12 inches on this one with a 1250 tire. And I know you probably wouldn't think that that is stretching the tire because it's a half inch extra on the tire, but technically it is stretched. And they look so much wider now due to that and they look way way better in my opinion like I absolutely love these new wheels and also the ride quality so one thing I didn't think was gonna change though was the ride quality that much like I was like, okay it's a 12 wide wheel that might change a few things there it's also it's stretching the tire that's probably gonna change something there I wasn't expecting the ride quality to go up in quality at a huge rate and it really did which I can't tell you why I'm not really an expert but if I had to guess it would probably be because at one it's just a higher quality wheel now the high quality tires have a higher quality wheel to match with them and also the wider wheel the bigger pattern I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but what I do know is that the ride quality is better the looks are 10 times better and it's just it's gonna tie into the whole rest of the truck whenever the truck is done being built and in the process of being built it's gonna make it look so much better you're probably saying something along the lines of depending on what your taste is that tan and white and black wheel that's a little strange with chrome everything so if you I'm pretty sure it's been shown in some of my other videos that there is no grill or front bumper or rear bumper on the truck right now and that is due to a paint job gonna be done on the truck pretty soon this paint job is gonna be one of one and it is gonna be 
absolutely epic so there's a reason for y'all to go on ahead and subscribe right now to go on ahead and see that paint job because so go on ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell for that reason these wheels are nothing if we don't keep them clean and even though they are pretty much brand new they've only been on for about a week i've actually been out of town so but they've only been on for about a week they are dirty enough to clean so let me show you where i went today so this is a weird angle but get used to it as you saw in the beginning of the video um i Wow, I'm moving this. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I use a lot of chemical guys. Now you can see that this bottle is not in perfect condition. And I bought it today, put it on my tire for a picture, and drove off. So now it, it looks, you know, like that. And uh, it's kind of been a little bit destroyed. Thankfully, I randomly bought the perfect remedy for this, with, with literally without even trying to do it. I don't know why I really even bought it, but I, I did. So I'll show you that. Empty Chemical Guys spray bottle. Really gonna come in handy right now. You know, I was gonna use this for like purple power or you know, something like that, just to kind of spray under the truck or whatever. But you know what? I mean, this is gonna work better. Oh, it's, it does not. So Chemical Guys products smell really good. But I'll explain what this one is, and this one does not smell good because it's of what it is, but... Ugh, it smells so bad. Ugh. Gosh. Okay, so that took about like 30... That took like 35% of the can, or can, of the bottle. In case y'all were wondering that stat, it just takes 35% of this can. Bottle. So what that bottle was and what this bottle is now is a iron and metal remover eater thing. Yeah, so it pretty much you spray it on there dry, everything has to be dry and you spray it on there and it agitates all that stuff like iron and brake dust and things like that and it eats it away and this is pH neutral so it's safe on paint, safe on wheels, safe on everything but it eats away like the bad metals you don't want on there and the irons and the brake dust and different things like that so it actually is really good. And um, so I'm going to use it for the first time today on these new wheels. It'll be the first cleaning of the wheels. I just got to wait till my microfibers are done being washed. But until the time being, we will talk about the wheels and tires. And if you look right there, you know, you can see they stick out way farther than the last ones. You know, you guys probably can't tell too much of a difference. But if you look at my last ones compared to these, they really do stick out quite literally double. And it's pretty much, it's, yeah, it's definitely double. I love it because I like, see how that second tread is sticking out right there. With the last ones, it was halfway through this tread. So I really like the new stance on these wheels and I couldn't be more happy with them. They match those Morley Fab traction bars so good. By the way, if you wanna see more about this, I have a traction bar video up on the channel already. Um, those are really great traction bars. We have the new wheels, we have the red traction bars. You're probably kind of seeing a little bit of a black, red, and white correlation. So I wanna kind of explain a little bit of what's happening to a certain extent. Like I said, the truck is gonna be fully painted. Fully painted. The only thing that is not getting painted is the hood. There's your hint. So you have three hints now. The fact that the hood's not getting painted, the fact that the traction bars are red, and the fact that the wheels are black. So those are your three hints for what the paint job is going to be. That's going to be happening very, very soon. So go on ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell like I said earlier and I'm going to keep saying because, you know, shameful plug. To go on ahead and see what's going to happen to the truck in the future. Alright, so I talked to the guy at Chemical Guys and he said that I can use this, which you all know what this is because you saw me fill it and only use that on the wheel whenever it is dry. I don't disagree with him because I 100% believe him, but my wheel is dirtier than that of one that you would do that with. So we're going to hit it with some of this real quick. Oh, by the way, right there. Future video right there. But um, we're going to hit it with some of this Diablo wheel gel. And then that was... That was oh my violent. god! Hey Jake, how you doing buddy? So we're going to hit it with some of this Diablo wheel gel first in the foam gun. Hit that with the microfiber, get it off, wash it off. Then we're going to hit it with some of this and wash that off and then we'll be done. Alright, so in order to apply the Diablo wheel gel from Chemical Guys, I'm going to be putting it in the foam gun. The difference between the foam gun and foam cannon, foam cannon is the pressure washer, foam gun is the hose, that's why I needed Jake to move his car in order to do the hose, in order to do that, and so now I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do those. Cool. Microfiber. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> These are so much easier to clean than my last ones. I'm 
I'm probably really zoomed in right now. Am I really zoomed in right now? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, de-zoom me a little bit, camera guy. <laughs> Did you just zoom me in more? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought so. Yeah. I should hire you. Okay, so, um, now I'm gonna hit it with the Why iron... Not? Huh? Why not? Hire me, I'll pay me. <laughs> now I'm gonna hit it with the uh, de-ironing thing something. I don't know. But I'm gonna hit it with that stuff. It's gonna get all the brake dust and extra iron off. And you know, they're brand new wheels, so I doubt that there's gonna be much on it, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so for the sake of time, I didn't let it dry 100%. It was a little kind of dry just because these wheels naturally let water slide off. So you're supposed to do it dry, but we did it non-dry. I think it'll be okay. So once that turns purple instead of clear or white or whatever you wanna say, we're gonna spray it off and then that'll get all the iron particulates off and these wheels will be perfectly clean. And when we get back, because me and Jake are gonna go to Chemical Guys and we'll get some video of that because his S550, you know, it's sick. We're gonna get some video of that and then we'll come back and I'll show you the wheel dry. Your first, like, 10 videos will suck. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, we'll go to our YouTube channel. It's probably gonna be called Jacob Sadler. So, this is gonna be my first ever technically vlog because I'm actually using Kevin's car. I mean, not car, but camera. <laughs> That's it, yeah, so this is my 2016 Ford Mustang GT performance package. It's on iBox Springs, has American racing rims. Also, we have a roof wrap done. We took off the racing stripes. It's uh, lowered by half an inch in the back and a full inch in the front. For some odd reason, the guy had it like that. It's a blacked out package, as you guys can tell, blacked out, blacked out. It has a CNL Racer co-air intake with an SCT X4 tuner, and it's from Shratter Performance. That's uh, Mac, That's actually my sponsorship company. Uh, they're really good guys out in North Carolina. Hit them up if you have an S550 or a boat for anything you need. Use promo code Jacob Sadler. Um, the wheels I'm running are Michelin Pilot Sports. I am running Corsa Extreme, as you can tell. Corsa Extreme is very good. Can't wait to get my stainless work headers, and I'm going with Texas Speed Cams, if anybody knows what that is. Bet you a lot of people will know. Yeah, never mind. So, yeah, um, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet everybody. Um, I'm probably going to be on the videos the most out of everybody, um, due to we are car vloggers. I will be starting a YouTube channel soon, probably tonight's whenever I'm gonna create it. But yeah, have a fun time with Kevin. Yeah, go in and look up Jacob Sadler eventually whenever this video is put out, which it should be put out tonight, but he's creating his. So wait like two days, look up Jacob Sadler, and you know, if you wanna see some S550 content, there's a lot of content on this car coming and a lot that he could do. I'm gonna give him some ideas whenever the camera's turned off in about five seconds. So I'd go ahead and do that. And while you're at it, hey, if you're subscribing to channels, go and subscribe and hit the notification bell to Bridges already. What are you doing, guys? If you haven't done that, I don't know what you're up. Oh. <laughs> Literally kind of made my ears ring for a split second there. Good, I like it. That he listed and so if you're if you're wondering what those mods do I think you just witnessed it firsthand on how those mods feel even though it's over video very impressive car so we've been gone for a few hours now and um, the wheels oh they look good yeah they look they turned out really good there's a water spots because I didn't dry them and I should have dried them next time I will but I think they turned out really, really good. All right, guys, so that's the new wheel video. If you like what you saw in any type of way, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, watch some more videos if you want. There's plenty on the channel right now. So those are the new wheels. Hope you guys like them. There's gonna be a lot of future content based on these wheels and based on the whole entire truck build. You do not wanna miss out on that. Thanks for stopping in on my day.